Hey guys, this is Shanawaz Ahmed and today I'm up here with a new video of SolidWorks Motion. In this video, I'm going to show you some dominoes which are being followed by a ball over here. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to make uh, this uh, small, you have to just make three things. Basically, the first one is the base, second one is the rectangular block which will act like dominoes and you can have many number of dominoes. Here I'm having only 11 number of dominoes over here. Okay, so now we are just having a ball over here also, which will just act as a hitting impact to these dominoes and make these dominoes fall one by one. Okay, so this you must have seen in various shows and various, uh, you can say, events in which they are people are making dominoes fall by hitting one another. So here also I am just using the same thing. Uh, I have used here wood and this is the base. You can take it as metallic and you can take this as metallic ball or heavy ball which will impact these dominoes. Now the thing which you have to keep in your mind is that before starting SOLIDWORKS motion what you have to do is first of all you have to create an assembly. In assembly there are basically three parts one is the base the other one is the ball and the third one is this rectangular block. Okay now you can just control and copy these to the desired amount whatever you want. Okay now just place these okay the thing is this ball is now tangent with this face this is fixed these dominoes i have just used the coincident mate with these base of these dominoes and the base here and i have also used the width mate which is acting uh, these dominoes in these dominoes so that these dominoes are on the middle part okay you can say on the middle now i have just uh, created these dominoes by using the control option and clicking the mouse so that these are multiplied in the desired amount whichever i want okay <clears throat> now the thing is i have to remove all the mates because if i'm not removing all the mates then what will happen is that these will not fall these will only slide why because we are having a coincident mate over here so for suppressing all the mates what you will do you will just go to the motion study first of all now select all the mates for example i'm selecting these mates here I'll select one by one all the mates as you can see the mates are being uh, seen over there I'll select all these mates and after selecting all these mates what I'll do I'll just make them suppress suppress means that these will not be a part of this assembly and they will just hide themselves now these all are suppressed as you can see over here now after suppressing them the third thing which I need to do is I need to check that whether this is in the motion analysis mode or not why because we are having animation mode also we are having basic motion also and we are having motion analysis so this thing will take place in motion analysis only so I'll just put it to the motion analysis okay now I have to put some gravity now for putting some gravity what I'll do I'll just go to this green button and see the arrow you can see the arrow it is facing downwards in the downwards direction let it be z y or x whatever it is you can check here the value and after putting this gravity i'll just put it okay i've already put the gravity so no need to put it again now uh, what i have to do i have to put this ball and give this ball uh, some initial velocity why because uh, this ball needs some force so that it will move from here and hit this domino which is the first one so for putting this initial velocity i'll go and check that uh, which is this part so this part is part number nine so i'll right click this part and go to the initial velocity and make sure that you are in the motion analysis mode if you are not in the motion analysis mode then you will not receive this option of initial velocity now after putting the initial velocity you have to put this 500 mm per second and you make it okay so i've already put this you can see in the downwards here okay now the other thing is you have to go and create contacts because contacts are very much important and without contacts this will not work so for putting the contacts we have to move here go here select all these things all the dominoes the base and the ball they all will be blue in color now as you can see you have to remove the material and you have to remove the friction because we don't need friction in that sense and in the elastic properties instead of restituent coefficient you have to put on impact and impact is already selected because it is in default so because we have to make an impact contact so that's why we are using impact here make it okay okay now after this everything is just being set up now we have to check that whether we are having that uh, 
uh, you can say the frames per second uh, you can just go to the motion steady properties go to the number of frames per second it is 200 okay it's very good now we have to come here again and this is the playback speed so what for the playback speed what i'll do i'll just i'm just keeping this to minimum so that we can just see it very easily that how it is able to work now after putting everything each and everything what you have to do you have to go and calculate after doing anything after changing the anything or after doing anything you just have to simply go to the calculate mode okay now after calculating because i have already calculated to save the time so i will not calculate it again why because it takes some time in calculating so to save them uh, some time i've just already calculated it before now what i'll do i'll just simply go to the play and see that how it works and what are the things that it happens wow you can see the ball is coming and hitting this domino and uh, as you can see the first domino is hit it and it just impacts the other dominoes and slowly and gradually we are having all the dominoes falling here so this is just simple straight you can also make the curves here and use some extra dominoes and some turns and curves and everything and you can just create a very good impact over here so so this is a very good technique by which you can make the dominoes fall over here and uh, thank you thank you very much guys for watching this video and i'm sure i'll come i hope i'll come with some other new videos in solidworks motion uh, thank you very much guys for watching